All right, seventh graders, this is our first um, true lesson and we're gonna be doing the flip model. So we're gonna to try to watch off videos first and kind of talk about everything that's going on. So the first time you hear this, we're just gonna kind of watch it and observe and see everything. The second time we watch it, we are gonna go through and fill in our information on our notebooks. So we're today, our first lesson is gonna be on geography of Texas and kind of uh, what the different geography regions are of Texas, their characteristics. So each one, we're going to look at the physical and the human characteristics of the group. The first group that we're going to look at is the coastal plains. So we we'll want you to glue that piece that we glued down that looks like this. We're going to go ahead and talk about that. The physical characteristics of this area is it contains plains, hills, and the Balcones escarpment. And we label that all on our map, so we want to make sure that we know this is where this stuff all is. Next one. All rivers come through this river, uh, this region, excuse me. Um, all the rivers are going to flow south to the ocean, so that's why they're going to come into this area. So everybody's going to have every river coming through here, finishing up. And finally, it has a very mild climate. The climate is going to be um, not extremely hot, not extremely cold. Uh, it's going to be kind of in the middle. It is going to be very humid in this area, so it kind of adds to it one way or the other. The human characteristics, there's going to be large highway systems in this region. We're going to have I-35, we're going to have, um, excuse me, I-35 is over here, I-45. We're going to have um, interstates that are going across the state, um, east and west as well. So we're going to have these huge regions connected by the highway system. There's going to be four major cities uh, that we're going to look at. We're going to have Houston, San Antonio, Austin, and Brownsville. We labeled them on our map earlier, so let's make sure we remember that um, this is the area where they belong. The major industries that we have in this area are going to include the timber industry, agriculture, oil, gas, technology, and education. Education because there's lots of universities in this area. We're going to have lots of timber, especially here in eastern Texas. Agriculture is going to be good in eastern Texas and closer to the Central Plains area. Oil and gas, especially along the coastal areas over here uh, east of Houston, they're going to have, it's going to be called the Golden Triangle. That's where lots of oil and gas industries and refineries are. There's lots of technology, especially in the Austin area, and then, uh, of course, education with everything there. The next region that we're going to look at are the mountains and basins, this area right here in the far west Texas. Um, the physical characteristics, there's some rivers and lots of deserts, okay? Just a few rivers, uh, and it's mainly the Rio Grande, and there's going to be the deserts. There's going to be uh, a climate that is very hot during the day, very cold at night, very hot summers, very cold winters. Because of the deserts, the more uh, heat that's there, the less it's going to have, um, the less it's going to feel nice and cool outside. The human characteristics. The industries are going to include a lot of ranching with cattle, sheep, and goat. Big Bend National Park is out here. Uh, it's a huge park that's out in the mountains going towards, um, it's going through uh, Fort Stockton, Texas. And in major cities is El Paso over here on the border between Texas, Mexico, and very close to New Mexico. The next region that we have is the Great Plains. It's this area that includes Lubbock. There's going to be canyons. There's going to be escarpments. There's going to be plains, aquifers, and plateaus. For those of you who don't know what an aquifer is, we're talking about underground water systems and canyons, uh, Palo Duro Canyon up uh, around Amarillo. The climate is very hot during the summer and very cold during the winter. That's why we get lots of snow and we also have really warm days. The human characteristics is going to be heavily um, responsible for irrigation. Uh, as the farmers get around us here at Terra Vista, you can see the irrigation systems come into play. Industries are going to include lots of ranching and agriculture because there's lots of land. We're going to have wind farms like south of, south of here in Lubbock over in Post, uh, not Post, uh, but in between Snyder and Post, you can see um, a lot of different wind farms. We're going to have oil industry and gas industry. Uh, major cities include Midland, Odessa, which are really rich in the oil and gas industry, Lubbock, and Amarillo. Our final region that we have is this area right here. It's a little off from our map, but you can see where most of it is. And this is going to be our north central plains. We're going to have rolling prairies and a few rivers. The climate is going to be warm and hot still, especially the summertime. It's going to be a little bit shorter in the summer, but it's going to have cool and cold winters. 
Uh, human characteristics, we're going to see that Dallas and Fort Worth are the major areas. And we're going to have major industries like agriculture and military defense, especially in Fort Worth. That's where we're going to produce a lot of weapons for the military. So this is our first lesson. Make sure that we get everything copied down uh, by our cutout of each region.